I'm Jennifer and I am the owner of Albanese Meats and Poultry. It is the last remaining butcher shop in Little Italy in New York City. My great-grandparents opened the store in 1923. Most recently it was run by my grandfather. Everybody called him Mo. Uh, his real name was Gandalfo. He taught me everything and was just a super patient, uh, very kind man and he was a, a treasure. And he passed last year uh, from COVID. It was a huge loss for everyone in the community and we're all just very uh, sad to not have him here, but I know he's really happy that I'm continuing his legacy. I joke and I say it's half a butcher shop and half a museum, and so <laughs> I'm always storytelling, and I think it's, it's really the most important story I could tell, which is my family's story and just where they came from and what they did here and how much they worked and sacrificed, but also had fun here. So uh, I, you know, I, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. One way to save a lot of money is if you buy the whole piece instead of getting things boneless or just pieces. For the pork shoulder, for instance, uh, you can buy it with the bone. It's actually cheaper than buying boneless. And you can then use that bone for soup or whatever you have in mind. The cleaver obviously is good for going through bone like very quickly. But when you're going through a lot of bone, you use the saw. So I have a handsaw. We do not have a a machine in the store, which sometimes is not great, but the handsaw is just, it allows it to be really accurate. Why go and get a, buy a whole new machine when you could just do it with your hands? This is the boneless pork loin, and sometimes they'll have the boneless loin on sale, but maybe this is too intimidating for you, and you're like, I don't know how to cook a whole roast. Uh, so if you want, you can turn this into cutlets. So for pork cutlets, I like to make them a little bit thicker. My grandfather always taught me when doing cutlets, any kind of cutlets, uh, that you're using the tip of the knife and you can feel the pressure, basically how far down it is on the meat. Don't worry if you don't cut them all the same size. Uh, you can always just use a mallet or whatever you have to pound it out and make sure that they're all even so you can cook them evenly. My grandfather always used to say piano piano, which is, means in Italian, Sicilian, slowly, slowly. And uh, so I have lots of hopes and dreams for the store, maybe incorporating food at one point. Whatever I'm gonna do to add to the store is going to just continue its story. So beautiful. Well done, Jennifer. I'm sure your whole family is very proud of you whether they're watching from above or watching you on our show. Thank you so much, Jennifer.